I'm just going to <coughs> see if I can oh uh, how I can in adjust sliders in this software. Um, make instead of an idealized person, I'm going to make a idealized new, or I'm going to make a just gonna see if I can somehow <coughs> use the sliders. Make a more realistic female body type. That's going to be hard. But I thought I could give it a shot. So this is Tara Not. She does the weightlifting. I am going to see if I <coughs> if I can adjust the sliders <coughs> to make it match. Uh, some of more realistic proportions. I just thought it would be an interesting exercise <coughs> in more um, achieving more mm, body size diversity <laughs> terrible word really I'll try to match the perspective and let's see if we can and keep matching up the mm, the different body parts here. Actually, we need a bit more. So the legs are obviously needs more mass. I suppose you also need bigger feet. Hmm. 
The minus legs uh, could be a bit uh, be a bit shorter by a couple of Of uh, course, this is not going to be entirely perfect. Then again, no human is perfect. If you find a perfect human, you should probably <laughs> run away really, really, really fast. Because <coughs> then something is definitely wrong. I feel this one. <coughs> I know what's missing with this application. It needs a third sen. It needs a a third segment. Needs a second segment on the chest. Hmm. Ah, that explains. Right, so it's not perfect, perfectly suited to uh, recreate humans. You can also see here that the thigh is um, it's also acting a bit weird. Hmm. Let's take the torso. Yes. Hmm. Take the shoulders. Um. Oh yeah, you can also see here that. Mm. Or do do the way how the software handles stuff. Mm. You can see the female body just doesn't quite. Hmm. Fit into the mold. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that was a bit disappoint. Mm, in essence, 
The shoulder part, yes. Mm, Lax eye hole. Mm, lot of flexibility in that regard. <coughs> yeah, that's disappointing. Very, very disappointing. <laughs> 